So back to the Barossa to see Rolf and to blend up our Shiraz Mataro. But what I got was a wonderful masterclass in wine blending from the quintessential craftsman himself. The important thing is that we actually have to get the wines out of the barrel. So uh, what I'm doing here is taking a sample out of the barrel, putting it into a small bottle, and we're about to go into the uh, wine tasting room and select the wines. All right, so um, I've picked four Shirazes. I've got to eliminate three, come back to one. And then I've got two Mataros and we'll eliminate one. Blending Shiraz Mataro all around the tannins and I call Mataro the Nibiola of the Barossa in that Shiraz can be very big, bold and pure. And whereas the Mataro would just have a nice fine coat to the palate. A lot of people cry when they see this, the amount of wine we're spitting out. I've done a 50-50 blend of one and three with the Mataro. So 50% of that and Mataro, 50% of that and Mataro. So what's interesting for me, from the initial perception of three being the best Shiraz, it's now blending them. And it's actually proven just that the first one works better. Now this is how blending usually happens. I've been in this room before though, and there'd be a hundred of these little bottles all lined up on your bench. Yes. But this, is a, this is pretty much what you do during blending time, correct? Correct. And to put two barrels together is easy and hard because it's easy because you pick the best two, but it's hard because you don't have the, the variability when you're blending say 50 or 100 barrels together. Well, unequivocal, I think we'll stick with this one. Done. So we've got it. It's barrel one of the Shiraz and barrel one of the Mataro. No. 1940s lot one, Shiraz, and then this is old vine. So this is vines planted in the 1880s. <sighs> That's nuts. Well, that was fantastic. Watching Rolf work coming up with this final blend, one barrel of Shiraz blended with one barrel of Mataro. And the actual wines we chose weren't the ones that immediately stood out amongst their peers, but they blended so well together, they'll be ideal for this project. That's the wines chosen. We've got some filtering to do, and then the wines will be bottled on the 1st of September.